What's Up by Four Non Blondes, an excellent 90s three chord sing-along. The chords we need for today are A, B minor, I'll be using the bar chord as in the song. If you need an easier version because you don't have bar chords yet, we can go with this four string, B minor here, and then we finish on a D. There are nuances within the rhythmic aspect of the song that help the chords to sound a bit more interesting. So rather than holding the chord down for the entire strumming pattern, there's a little changes we can make that adds to the color and the depth and a little bit more rhythmic intricacy. Focusing on the rhythm firstly, we're gonna bring our strumming hand up to speed and really ingrain that rhythm before we add any chords into it. We're gonna do this, create a nice strong foundation, by muting the strings with our fretting hand, laying them nice and lightly across the strings. Don't press them down, just rest them on the strings. That will give us this percussive muted sound. The rhythm we're aiming for, three, four. This rhythm runs through the entire song, breaking this down into beats and strumming directions. It's a two bar rhythm. So nice and slow. Three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Little bit quicker, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Looking at where they accent the beats now, which is to say they add extra pressure into the strum, it makes it stand out a little bit more. We have accents on beat one and three. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and 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 work on building the accuracy of this strumming pattern before you add the chords in. It's a great rhythm building exercise. got a great foundation for the strumming pattern introducing now how we need to move the fingers on our chord hand within this strumming pattern slow down one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so on beats three and four and on the end of the second bar of the rhythm, we take our third finger off the A, so that's the three and for the upbeat, and then we take our fingers off completely for four and. Moving on to the B, we do exactly the same theme, but the fingers that we move in our fretting hands are a little bit different. So we, the same rhythm and on the same beats, alter the chord. So we've got the normal rhythm, the normal chord, and then on beat three and, we lift up our first finger to open the E string on the bottom, the high E string. We then, for the beat four and, take our fingers off completely again. So we get this. Three and four and. Slow down.
And for the D, the same theme again. This time we're going to be taking off the middle finger to open the high E string. And then we're back to the A for the fourth chord in the sequence. This rhythm and chord progression run all the way through the song to the end. It's our job to keep it interesting. We do this by varying the dynamics, which is to say play quieter at the verses and then gradually build up through the pre-chorus and then when it gets to the chorus, be at your full strumming power. Hold the pick light less pressure on the strings when we get to the pre-chorus start to add in a little bit more pressure then when we get to the chorus The structure for this song is such that the intro is two times around the chord progression, as is the verse, as is the pre-chorus, as is the chorus. We repeat all these sections round again for part two of the song. We then have an extended chorus, which is two times around the chord progression, and the ooze section, which is the wind down of the song. After that, this takes us into the ending. Now the ending, is the same rhythm and same chords but it has a swung feel to it so the emphasis is slightly different slow down This lesson here shows you how to play Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, another three chord sing-along song. See you next time.